Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Sarah I am a mum of two young children and this weekend we have a very busy weekend so I thought I would vlog it for you. It is Joe's birthday today if you are new Joe is my husband and this afternoon we are having a little party for him we've got a little setup outside so I'll show you that later it's going to be super fun. We're also in the middle of a heat wave just to let you know so we're kind of all hot and bothered all over the place right now. And then tomorrow it is my dear friend Charlotte's son's birthday. Henry he is one he is about three and a half weeks older than my youngest daughter Amelia so she's one in August so I'm all up in the feels at the moment I just feel like there's so many changes going on and I'm feeling so emotional about it Amelia turning one is hitting me hard so the fact that Henry is his first birthday like I just know it's coming and it's getting to me. I wanted to show you right at the start though a box that I've been dying to unbox. I got it in the post. When did I get it? A couple of days ago. I did a huge order on cherries. I don't know if you've heard of cherries before. I did, I did a video with them like back in November time. Anyway, it's basically like, what can we say? It's like B&M, if you're from the UK, B&M but online, which for a mum like me, so I have a two and a half year old and an 11 month old, I just never, I never go to the shops. It just, I just don't have time. <laughs> like I just never get a chance to go because I'm not going with the two of them. It would be a nightmare. And the trolleys in B&M, there's only like one space for them. So it'd just be a whole rigmarole. And also I've been on the end of my maternity, so I'm trying to save money, but we did need quite a lot of cleaning products recently. I do cleaning videos on my channel, so I do go through quite a lot. And I just thought I'm gonna order them on cherries. It's gonna be so much easier. and then then it's all done and it comes straight to my door and I ordered it Wednesday evening and it came Thursday evening it came about seven o'clock Thursday so a day later which is just perfect it is Saturday today and I've just not had time to open them so I'm opening them with you so I did open them off camera because you could totally see my address when I was unboxing them but I had so much stuff they came in two boxes let me hold this little one up oh so here it is Cherries with a Z. <laughs> so it came in two boxes, a big box and a little box. Um, I'll do the little box first. All recyclable. Good on you, cherries. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. So what have I got? Oh yeah, I ordered some colour catchers because I needed some elbow grease. I've seen this used so many times. I feel like for the garden and outdoor, this would be really good. So elbow grease. Sif cream because I've been meaning to buy this for ages and we shop in Aldi and they don't have it. So great one to get. Oh, and it's lemon flavour. I didn't realise I got the lemon one, but that's going to be great. Okay, we've got rinse aid because again, it's something we can never buy in Aldi. So I wanted to get some while I could. Um, okay, this is a fabric freshener. I just thought this would be great for like spraying in the living room. What do I use at the moment for breeze? I think this was cheaper than Febreze, which is why I bought this. But yeah, I like to just spray like the sofa, spray the rug, spray the bed. So this will be great for that. I bought this Good Bubble Gruffalo Grizzly Mane Detangler with extract of prickly pear. Thought this would be great for Sophia. She really struggles with her hair. She hates getting it brushed. She's not even, she's not got hair like me at all. Like it's quite thin, it's not curly. So this, it's not actually that difficult to, to do it. But she, any little any tension and she screams so this will be perfect for that now on to big box wow there's so much stuff in here so i got some microwave and fridge freezer wipes i thought this would be really great for the microwave and just a handy little thing and then when i do the food shop just to wipe the fridge out but i've never seen these and i wanted to give them a go i know wipes aren't the best but they are handy for like a now and again kind of thing um so you can get like food and all sorts in there as well and i just thought these looked really nice double chock treats wanted to get these dish cloths microfiber super soft it's just always handy we are constantly going through cloths because oh all the sun's just come out okay that's not great lighting but we roll with it yeah just always handy isn't it lenore crease releaser so i don't iron i'm terrible we are terrible at ironing and i thought this would be perfect and i've seen this before i've never got it this is gonna help me out a lot to go with the elbow grease spray i wanted to get the elbow grease power cloths kitchen foil pom bears because my daughter loves them and i thought why not and again alpen i've got no added sugar so when it's i'm gonna have to close the blinds i think hang on hopefully that is a little bit better when my daughter goes to her grandparents my in-law's house she loves alpen and they have alpen in so i just thought i'd get some as a little treat for her to have you know on those evenings where she's not that bothered about food and it is super hot at the moment this will be a great one because obviously the milk will hydrate her and it's going to fill her up another elbow grease product the elbow grease scrubbing pad oh i've got another color catcher here oh i think i got two because i don't know why i just got two bath boats i think i'm going to give these to my 
daughter for her birthday amelia so this will be a nice little toy she we've got some like this and she really likes them but more is more is better in this case these are for me i love these and it's not something again they don't have it in audi all the times so i always like to stock up in these when i do like if i was going to be in them i would get these and I was kind of viewing like my order as a B&M order. This is again something I needed. It's been on my cleaning list for a while and they didn't have any in Audi last time I went. So I got some giant floor wipes. These are just great because our floor in our kitchen, it just shows them up. It's white tiles. They look nice when they're clean, but I've got two kids who like to throw food on the floor because one of them is weaning and one of them is just a toddler. So these are great just to wipe up those areas where they've eaten. All purpose descaler, self-explanatory. Oh, I've never had these. I've been filming a cleaning video this week with some new products that I've been using and one of them was a glass and window cleaner so I saw these and thought I'm going to use them with this particular cloth. Leather wipes for this sofa because we ran out last time I tried to clean it I realised I needed some more and I saw these and thought perfect. Stainless steel wipes for like the taps and things if I just want to give the taps a quick clean and also like the radiator in the bathroom that kind of thing all the sun's gone in oh that is much better bathroom wipes i like to keep these upstairs in case i need to give the toilet a quick wipe but i don't want to go down and get all my cleaning stuff so these are handy also i have a toilet training toddler so there's some accidents and things that happen these for me and also sophia joe bought us some of these home from work the other day so when i saw these i had to get some more because we ate them super quickly baking soda i use this to clean the sink and i've nearly run out dishmatic we don't have one I used to have one and then we never replaced it so this could be handy this one is just a bit of a restock because i have run out so i love using this on the carpet in the living room i think it's great it smells amazing this they do actually have this in audi at the moment at least and it's been great i've been trialing it with the girls i wanted to try the non-bio one that wasn't fairy because audi doesn't have fairy but this has been in for the past few weeks but i just thought i'd top up anyway oh and it works a treat it has been so good on my girl's skin so i would highly recommend this one again not seen this in a while and just thought that i used to use this and it was great so i'm gonna use this in the shower bleach because it's handy to have in interesting this is not what i thought then i thought this would be a lot bigger so I'm guessing this is kind of like the Cherry's version of Astonish? No, you know the scent boosters. Thought it would be a lot bigger. It's pretty small, a little bit disappointed with that. Up to 10 washes. I guess the price reflected it. Oh well, we'll still use it. Just needed cotton pads. And last but not least, and this is a very exciting haul of cleaning things, dishwasher salt. <laughs> so that is everything from Cherry's. Very impressed with that, super impressed with the delivery. I do have a discount code for you. So if you want to try cherries yourself, you will get 25%, that's right, 25%, that is huge, off your first order, only your first order, I think. So it's a great way to try it without too much of a risk because you're getting 25% off and the code will be motheringhappily25. I will leave it on the screen. I will leave it linked below what on earth leave it linked below and also i'll leave a link to take you directly there so to save you the hassle of downloading the app and all that so i hope you enjoyed that haul and on with our day right it's so the calm before the storm everything's set up so i'm going to show you what it looks like it's literally nothing special but um someone's bringing some more chairs because we'll need a lot more but then we've got the paddling pool in the hose sprinkles water from there i will leave this linked below that's it Joe just cut the grass. How nice does the garden look? It's so pretty. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I need to set this up as well. Some water play. I might put that on the grass too. Do that now. Lost again, going back. Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far So I saw this thing on TikTok where someone had one of these bubble things and taped it to the, like taped it to a post and then just at the top so that the kids could do it independently without it spilling everywhere and I thought that was such a good idea so I'm going to give that a go. So I've got some bubbles underneath the sink. Pop you there, I think you're on an angle but never mind. So it was like a pound, 
from boys if you're from the UK. Where are you from by the way? Not like, I know I've asked this before and like just, is anyone not from the UK? I'm just curious. Okay, oh, that's a fly in it, but never mind. Pop that back. And then I need some tape and think about where I want to tie it to. I don't really know where to put it because I've got this tape and I don't want it to pull the paint off anywhere. Maybe where it's painted. I put it on the tough tray. Sing to me if I lose my voice. Is it a better route if I lose my course? Count on my company and I will come. Save me when I am falling. Save me when I am falling. Save my love when I fall. And that kind of works. Yeah. Is <laughs> not going to sleep. Into bed. Into your bed. <sighs> She's just so funny. She's such a cheeky monkey sometimes. Let me put her back to bed. of me my hand melted i've just put the girls to bed much later than normal and we've already well joe and his parents spent so long tidying up i spent a bit of time before i took, put the girls to bed and there's still just stuff everywhere let me show you <laughs> so this is the outside oh my goodness this is the playroom the thing is, my girls never make this much mess, so it's a bit of a shock. All of this. The kitchen is is half okay. You can probably hear Joe's watching something, but I do shut the rest of the house off when we have a lot of people over like that, so that it is just this back area. But I'll be honest, I'm absolutely worn out. I think it's a combination of the sun and like the hosting and just running around and sorting it all out. It's been such a lovely but long day. I think I'm gonna do the cardinal sin and I'm gonna leave this and do it in the morning because <laughs> I'm so worn out. It's about eight o'clock now and honestly, I'm ready to go to bed. I think I'm just gonna sit down for a bit and get a very early night. I didn't sleep well last night. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> Sophia says hello, ignore the mess. We've tidied a little bit up from last night, but then we had to get ready for church. I'm on kids team today, hence my kids top. I'm just gonna wrap up Henry's birthday present and then I need to get the things ready because we're gonna go straight from church to the party and I've got like a dress to get changed into. Yeah, it's a little bit chaotic, a lot going on, but this is what I've got him. So it's this train set and I thought it looked fun and colorful. Yeah, just, I don't know, something. I think, yeah, it was 20 pounds from B&M. I need to take that sticker off. And then I got this card from Morrison's. So I'm gonna wrap that up now. She's doing her own little touch. So when I was editing the last part of this vlog, it was like a bit of a sit down chat at the end. I realized that it was all out of focus, just slightly, but enough to cause a distraction. So I'm gonna just kind of repeat what I said <laughs> because it was a bit of a chat and a ramble. Going back to the party, it was really great. We went straight from church to the party so I didn't have time to film anything. I just took one picture of Amelia sitting eating food but it was such a fun party. There was about to cattle and soft playing food so that was great. But then afterwards I was feeling just really down and anxious and stressed. It's been a build up for a few weeks now, maybe even like a month. There's been things going on, things like at Joe's work, that's meant I've essentially ended up being like a solo parent for the past month. That's been tough. I've been going back to work, so I did a few keeping in touch days and then I did my first official day last week. I don't know what's going on with my hair. <laughs> that has been tough. I'm so grateful for my job and I'm so thankful that I get a chance to go back to work in this climate. I'll be honest, it's been really hard mentally. I don't want to leave the girls. I feel like it's too young to leave them. Two and one is not, Amelia's not one yet, but she will be soon. But it's just not, it's not old enough to leave. I just want to be with them, but we're not in that position financially that we can afford to do that. And I know it's like a nothing problem, but I'm still human and I'm still having these emotions. I've also been quite emotional about Amelia turning one and that's been getting to me which again is such a wonderful positive thing it's a privilege to watch my children grow up but it is a big transition it's basically just lots of little things 
or lots of things at once that have built up to an anxiety which has then led to a depression and a few other things that have been going on which I don't need to share on here not everything does need to be shared but that's kind of the crux of it so I've been a little bit absent from YouTube I have still been on Instagram but not as much I'm trying to take the pressure off myself with social media I unnecessarily put pressure on myself to post and to create content when it is just a hobby <laughs> so I don't know why I do that I need to take a step back from it and realize it is just a hobby it's just a bit of fun and it's not really like the end of the world if I don't post so lots of things going on in my mind so lots of things going on in my mind which I just need to like work out this summer I've decided is going to be my summer of rest I'm going to find time to rest and look after myself I've not been doing that I'm like the last one to eat the last one to go to bed because I'm doing everything the last one to even have a drink and we've been through a massive heat wave so that's not been great I've just not been looking after myself my skin's gone to part like I'm just falling apart this season <laughs> which I'm sure many of you mums have been there because it's hard to kind of prioritise yourself when you've got other people like the children, the dog, Joe, everybody comes first, I'm sort of last so I don't want to get the violins out, I'm just sort of saying what the reality has been. So basically I'm going to be prioritising myself a little bit this summer while Joe's off work, he's a teacher so we get him off for five weeks which is great and it means I get a chance to kind of reset and build myself back up again ready for the academic year and me going back to work. So in a nutshell that's what's been happening and that's what I kind of rambled on about at the end of the video. Somehow I made it last for over 10 minutes whereas this one is about four minutes so much better. Anyway thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the cherries haul. I can't wait to get another order but I am well stocked up for a while now with my cleaning products. If you did like it then please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Today I am actually going on holiday to the Cotswolds so I'm going to go get ready for that now. I will be filming that and hopefully getting back to a little bit more positive, brighter content going forward. Thanks for watching. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.